quite a few of you asking me, how do you deep clean your griddle? Well, to be honest, you don't necessarily have to. We're gonna talk about that in today's video. But for those of you that wanna do a deep cleaning, I'm gonna show you a couple tips and tricks that we've used in the past and how we've done it. And if you're here looking, I don't wanna waste your time in the video. If you're here looking just how do I clean it really quickly after each cook, I'm gonna link the video right here for you so you can check that out if that's what you're here looking for. But for everybody else that's looking for how to deep clean their griddle, let's get started. I wanted to just give you kind of a bird's eye view of what my griddle looks like. So as you can see, this bottom left corner doesn't have a lot of seasoning. I very rarely use this left-hand side burner. You can see the seasoning's pretty perfect. I usually cook on the right three burners. I use the left one just to store food or I have it on low. But I wanted to show you kind of what people are posting pictures of. So here you can see that my seasoning in a few of the spots is starting to come off. This is just from cooking, especially if you cook really heavy, thick sauces like teriyaki, things of that nature. When you go to scrape it off, you'll notice it peels up. So that's my starting point, and I'm gonna show you guys what we do if we wanna strip this off and reseason everything. Use just fresh lemons. So you can get a bag of fresh lemons like this. It comes with eight or 10 for, I don't know, five bucks at your local grocery. So before you cut these, if you just give them a nice firm roll like this, it'll actually help the juice just come out really easy to squeeze on the griddle top. So I'm just gonna take this straight to the griddle and I'm just gonna start squeezing this fresh lemon juice straight on. Now I do have my griddle going, it's on high heat. And I'm just gonna give it a little splash of water to mix it in there. Now. You can already see that's starting to bubble up. I'm gonna quickly give a couple more lemons a squeeze and we'll just do this right-hand side of the griddle for you guys. So we'll be back and show you that whenever we start to scrape it. So I'm squeezing a couple more lemons here. And I'm sure everybody knows, but the citrus really is a good cleaning agent. There's chemicals out there you can spray, but we really try to just avoid that at all costs. Try to stay as natural as possible. So that's about four lemons. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more water here. All right, so as you can see, this is the water's cooled it down a bit, but you can see that the lemon juice is bubbling up on the griddle top. So we're just gonna continue to let that cook. While we're doing so, I'm gonna go ahead and prep the rest of the grill. I have all the burners on heating up. So as I get this spread evenly across the whole griddle top, uh, it's just gonna cook and bake into it really evenly. So we'll come back once we have the whole griddle top covered and kind of show you what that final coating looks like of the lemon juice and water before we actually scrape it. So I have the lemon squeezed out here. I have a little bit of water mixed in with that. So the grill is still on and just getting that lemon juice. The idea here is it's not gonna pull it off on its own necessarily, but what it will do is that lemon juice will heat up with that seasoning and it'll start to loosen it so it's easier to scrape off here in just a minute. So I'm gonna let this go just until the water actually is dried up by the griddle top. And then once that dries up, I'm gonna get all the lemon seeds off and then I'm gonna come in with my scraper tool and I'll show you how easy it is to get the seasoning straight off the griddle top. So at this point, the griddle's been turned off. Most of the lemon juice and the water has been dried up by the griddle top. So this is the tool I use. I'll link it for you guys, but it's a Cuisinart scraper. You can get it on Amazon. I'll drop the link for you. But as you can see, this is a lot more heavy duty. It's actually like a razor blade. And that's definitely gonna be easier to do than your normal scraper tool you would cook with or your chopper. So I'm gonna come in here, I'll let Jamie uh, zoom in to show you guys how easily this comes off. So obviously this has the big handle, but as you push, you can actually see how much of that's gonna come up. Again, this just makes it easier, the lemon juice application. So you can see just how easy this is coming up. Now I am putting a little force behind it, but again, trying to do this without the lemon juice application on it first is really hard to do. So this is just uh, end to end. 
for the first pass. So I'll let Jamie kind of give you guys a close up there of how that's starting to come along. So you can see the old leftover seasoning. You can see how good the scraper's doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of it scraped for now, and then we'll show you before we move on to the next step what we're gonna do. All right, so I have the whole griddle scraped with the scraper that I showed you. Next, I'm just gonna take all these lemon halves you use for the whole grill. I'm just gonna put those up here. Now, the grill has cooled down a ton, but it does still have a little bit of warm to it. It's not too hot to touch, but it would be uncomfortable if you kept your hand down on it, just to kind of give you guys an idea of the temperature. So here, what we want to do, well, actually, why don't you zoom in right here, Jamie? Kind of show them. Some of it's coming clean down to the raw surface. You can kind of see that some still isn't. So what we're going to do is just uh, kind of flatten the, the lemon out here. And we're just going to rub the lemon halves that are left directly onto the flat top. And as we do this, the citrus will just start helping bring some of it out. And then I'll share this scrape, uh, Brillo tool with you guys as well. But then you just come back over it with this tool. And here you can quickly see that the lemon juice is getting all the way down. So let me grab a paper towel. And I'll wipe that for you guys and just kind of show you the difference. So that's how clean we can get it down to. So for time's sake, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the rest of the griddle. And then we'll come back and we'll show you guys where we're at, how clean we were able to get it just really quickly with lemons and water. And then we'll start a reseasoning process too to show you how we do that. All right, guys, there she is. Look at that beauty. She's shining. All right, so a couple of things. One, you can kind of see this side here. So we put the lemon juice and water over everything. And as we got going about halfway, we remembered how much hard work this is and actually wanted to use the opportunity to try something else. So we actually used just some white vinegar on this side. And as you can see, did just an equally nice job it's actually easier than the lemons because, well, you don't have to cut it up and you can just pour running liquid and move it around as you need to. Also, uh, because it was such hard work, we decided as we got 85% of everything off to pull the hand sander out and finish it off. So that is how we got that perfect finish on the top there. Again, try to do it as natural as possible. With natural things comes a lot of elbow grease, hard work and sweat as usual, but uh, we tried to do it. We did a really good job on the first half with the vinegar on the second half. We kind of tapped out and just went to the sander. So you really can use any method you want. I would just stay away from any serious chemical cleaners like an oven cleaner or degreaser or something like that. Try to stay natural if you can. And then of course the sander, yes, it leaves residue, but you're still not introducing any heart, uh, hazardous chemicals. Uh, you know, after you're done all the sanding, any leftover debris, you can wash down and get off your griddle. So. That's it, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This project took us about an hour of scrubbing by hand and probably another 15 or 20 minutes, I would say, with the sander just to finish everything off. The ledge, this gets really gunky. You can see that we didn't perfectly get it clean, but we did a really good job there. So there you have it, that's a deep clean. Again, you don't have to do this. Uh, if you start seeing your griddle season and starting to chip up, as long as it's not down to this raw steel, you can always throw a pound of bacon on there and just season over it, it'll be fine. The reason I chose to make this video is just because so many people are asking and it's kind of a preference thing. I know a lot of the experts out there, like I've had my grill for three years, I'm absolutely not gonna ruin it by pulling the seasoning off. And then others just feel like it's unsanitary to leave it on there and caked up. So because of that, we just wanted to share with the viewers how you would clean your griddle top. All right guys, so we hope you liked our video on how to clean your griddle. This is a deep clean. Again, if you want instructions on how to do just a daily clean after you cook, we've already dropped the link for that. And if you guys are looking for how to season your griddle, we're fixing to do that next. We gotta apply some seasoning back before we cook again. I'm gonna link a video right here for you guys. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future episodes. God bless you.